Mineta San Jose International Airport is one of the highest cancellation rates in the country. Hotels and rental car businesses near the San Jose Airport say they are doing everything they can to try to accommodate people. KTVU South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters live now at the airport in San Jose with the latest on the situation there and a response tonight from Southwest Airlines. LaMonica. Yeah, the crowds we saw yesterday are gone, and this terminal is pretty empty tonight. But earlier, we spoke with people who said that they were just trying to get home. They wanted to get their money back. They wanted to get vouchers. They're staying with relatives. They're staying in hotels, and they're renting cars to get to destinations here in the western, western region. Now they're saying the flight's back on, but I've been on the phone for hours and hours trying to re reach Southwest. So I just came down here to the airport to try and rectify the situation. Frustrations are still running high as people try to get to their destinations. I, I blame Southwest. Sorry, Southwest, for putting them out there. But, you know, whatever they did, it, you know, it messed up the whole situation. Where, you know, we've been stranded here, you know, in the rain, my pants are all wet, you know, I have to, I had to change shoes and everything. We luckily just found a car that's going to be able to take us to El Paso. Between on the phone and standing in line, it's probably been 10, 12 hours. And I just don't want to waste any more time with them right now. So I'll wait till the mess clears up a little bit. Both Avis and Budget Rental Car at the San Jose Airport told us that they were still renting cars Tuesday night, but National and Hertz said they were out of cars to rent. San Jose's airport has canceled over 75% of its flights this week, making it one of the highest cancellation rates in the country. We're doing everything we can to return to a normal operation. And please also hear that I'm truly sorry. By Tuesday afternoon, Southwest accounted for 2,599 of the 3,050 flights canceled by all airlines. Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan explained why so many flights were grounded. With our large fleet of airplanes and, and flight crews out of position in dozens of locations, and after days of trying to operate as much of our full schedule across the busy holiday weekend, we reached a decision point to significantly reduce our flying to catch up. The Southwest website says that anyone flying through January 2nd can rebook their flight free of charge for the next 30 days. It also says you can get a refund online or you can come to the counter at the airport and get the refund in person. Julie? Yeah, LaMonica, just talk for a second. A completely different picture tonight there versus last night. Just explain what, how different it is. I mean, when we came to you, it's like, it looks like no one's there. There is no one here. Last night, there were hundreds of people in Terminal B. They were showing up, trying to see if they could get on the flights, but uh, they told us that all of the flights had been canceled, so people were trying to uh, get hotels, rent cars. Uh, the bus lines were all sold out last night. Tonight, it's a completely different story. I think people have figured out that these cancellations are going to continue, and so they're making other arrangements. They're, uh, you know, renting cars and, you know, getting people to take them back home or wherever it is, wherever it is they're trying to go. So yeah, it's a completely different situation here tonight. And you know, I think most people are happy that they can just not, you know, be stuck in the airport and they have some place to go. Yeah, absolutely. A complete travel meltdown, no matter how you look at it, up and down the West Coast. LaMonica, thank you.